Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford from the Aether Bios Clinic and Aether Bios Yoga. And today in our quick and easy series on workouts, we're gonna get a burn in the butt. So get comfortable, get ready to exercise and join me in a minute. Starting with a wide squat, we're gonna push the floor away, bend. And if you wanna do it just a little less deep, that's fine. We're gonna bend down, come back up. Push the floor away, keep the spine nice and straight. Feel the work in the butt. You need a nice straight spine, stick the butt out a bit behind you. Bring your hands on the butt and you'll feel that gluteus maximus, that big butt muscle working. So we're gonna keep going for a while. That's how we get the burn. If you need to stop, that's fine. Use the core, keep the strength, knees facing over the toes. If you want to go deeper, you can. Make sure your knees are okay with it. Keep the burn in the butt. Going a little wider, we're going to do it on one side, keeping the other leg straight. So bend, push away. You can keep up straighter if you like. You can get a bit more bend and a bit more work in the butt. If you stick it out a little, use your hands to feel. You'll still be working the other gluteus medius. So give it a push. Keep the spine straight, keep breathing. Keep the core working. Push away, resist as you come down. Push away and resist. And the other side, we we'll just go side to side a couple of times to freshen it up. And then we're going on the other side. So push the floor away, keep a good alignment, knee over the toes. Keep the spine straight. You'll feel the work in both butts, but slightly differently. This one's more to the side. This one's at the back. Push it away and bend. Push and bend using the core. Going side to side again. Freeing the butt at the back, working the glute medius on the side. Squat down and just bounce a little. You can put the hands on the knees if you like. You can give a little push with your hands to straighten through the spine. And you're getting that work in the butt. Keep it going, keep the burn. Keep your core and keep a good alignment. Always breathe. Little narrow squat and we're gonna lift. Squat and lift. Again, we're working both sides. So working the glute medius on the one that's lifting. You can straighten it if you like. I think it's a little easy event to start with. And we're working the supporting leg again. You can go as little or as large as you like. Keep it bent to start with. Make sure you have a good alignment. And the other side, side to side for a moment. And then we're gonna lift up, squat and lift. Squat and lift, working the glutes. Medius on the one that's lifting. Maximus and a bit of medius on the one that's on the floor. With the feet a little wider, we can do another version. Just lifting the leg up straight. Leaning forwards a little for balance. And the other side. Lifting as little or as high as you like. Other side. You can keep it small or you can bring it bigger. Just keep a good alignment. And side to side, have a good wiggle. We're gonna stay down on the bent leg and lift the other one up. Up, down, up, down. You can bend it and then straighten. Bend and straighten, lifting out to the side. Working on your balance on this side. On the other leg supporting. Lift it, bend, again as high or as low as you like. Using the core, keep a good alignment in your spine. We're gonna do a few squats. I'll do it from the side so you can see. 
and then when we come up we're going to lift the leg behind alternating legs you can feel with your hand on the butt but that's working the butt we can go one side repeatedly and the other side we can do it from a deeper squat and you can keep the leg still or you can give a little push with it a little push gives the impetus to bring the other one up keep the core keep a good alignment the other side coming into a squat lift up and repeat lift the leg behind you push the floor away on the supporting leg adding the arms in for a bit of impetus bend lift bend so you give a little bit of focus to the arms and it gives the leg a lift behind gives it something to work against and the other side lift up we're actually working both sides we're working a little differently on each butt we're going to do a tabletop stretch so keeping straight from the knees up we we'll bend push the floor away on the push away you'll be using the butt so keep long in the groin keep strong in the core keep your spine straight and get that feeling of bending from the knees all the way back you can feel with your hands how that's working in the butt keep the integrity in the core and in the spine and keep your neck in neutral we can work the butt with a kneeling lunge you could do it standing as well I'm going to get more stability this way so push the floor away feel that butt working so push the floor away keep your spine nice and straight if you want to do it standing you can do that keep that bend working that butt a little more challenge to balance and on the other side push the floor away work that butt of the front leg keep the spine nice and straight keep the integrity and we can also do that standing a little more challenge on the balance might be just what you need coming on all fours with a straight spine tuck the knee in and lift up and lift up if you want to go further you tuck the head in curl around lift up keeping a good alignment really working in that butt and lifting it up keep the spine nice and straight keep the strength in the core and you'll feel the burn in the butt on the other side lift up and bring it in and curl your head in lift up you get a little bit more impetus to move and you keep in control in the spine in the neck and working with the butt bringing the leg out to the side lifting straight up working in the butt straight out to the side keep the spine nice and strong core strong working in those glutes and on the other side lifting up keeping the core strong keeping the spine nice and straight and working in the butt we're working in the glute medius keep the breath and we're going to do a combination of the last two together so you bring the leg in and up in and up in and out in and out in and up in and up in and out in and out up up out out up up out out up out up keep the head up at this time out up out up out and on the other side bring the leg up 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 
in, out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up, out, keep the core, up, out, up, out, up, out, up, out. Have a little wiggle in between, shake that butt out, wag like a dog, just let go of any tension in between the sets and we'll carry on. Laying down, feet apart, knees above the ankles, tuck the tailbone under, pelvic tilt as a preparation to come up into bridge, lengthen and come down, come up into bridge, lengthen and come down, so we curl the tailbone under, lift up with the core, lengthen and come down and up again, and lengthen down and up again, and lengthen down, this time we're going to stay up, so come up, and we're going to push the floor away, so you're really working the butt as you push, keeping length in the spine, strength in the core, and relaxed in the neck. Pushing the floor away, working those butt muscles. To do it with one leg, you can either just raise one foot up and do it with one leg like that. Raise up and push up with one leg or stay with two if that's more comfortable. Or we can cross the leg over in a figure four and push up so we're working both sides differently. And the other side, figure of four, or if this isn't comfortable, just stay with both feet on the floor. Come down and hug the knees to the chest and gently rock side to side. Another level of that is to lift up into bridge and lift one leg up and we're going to push the floor away with the bent leg. Reaching up again if this isn't comfortable, only go where you can be. And the other side, bring the leg down, straighten the opposite leg, push the floor away. Using the core, keep the integrity in the spine and hug one knee up and the other gently rock side to side, lengthening in the spine. To go into a cool down, I'm going to take a figure of four, take the hands through and we're stretching across the butt, the piriformis muscle. So hug that knee up towards you, you can use the elbow on the bent leg to help open it a little and we just want to go where we can be keeping the spine nice and straight. Have a little wiggle there if that's comfortable. And we're going to change to the other side. Cross the leg over, figure of four. Take the hands through, interlace them. Press the elbow against the knee if that works for you. And draw down, lengthening the back of the neck. Keeping the breath. Good stretch on those piriformis muscles and the butt muscles that have been working so hard. We're going to take a cat cow to stretch through the spine. So lengthen through the spine, lift the tailbone, lift the chest, lift the head. Curl around the tailbone, curl around the chest, curl around the head. Good, stretch to the spine. Lift the tailbone, lift the chest, lift the head. The spine's also been working. Curl the tailbone around, curl around the chest. And once more in your own time, lift up and curl around and push the hands away, sit back in pose of a child, lengthening through the spine. We can do a hamstring stretch from kneeling. Straighten one leg in front of you, kneel down on the other and bend forward, sticking the butt out, lift the kneecap and thigh, toe lifts up. If you want to take the stretch off, let the toe down and find where you can be with that. Breathe into it, stretch the hamstring, back of the knee up to the butt. And the other side, straighten the leg, lift the toe, 
You can let the toe relax if that's more comfortable. Lift the kneecap and thigh, get a good alignment with the foot. Lean forwards into it, have a little wiggle, keep it fluid. And feel a good sweet stretch up the back of the hamstring, up to the butt. We can stretch the quadriceps kneeling as well, if this works for you. If not, I'll give you another version. So bring the heel towards the bottom and we're stretching the quadriceps at the front of the thigh. Opposing muscles to the hamstrings, you can lean forwards into it a little. And the other side, bring the heel up to the bottom, stretch in the quadricep, you can lean forwards a little. And it is an opposing muscle to the hamstring, which attaches to the butt. Standing stretch for the hamstring, bend the knees, bring one leg forward, straight leg, and bend forwards, belly first, then chest, then chin. Feel the stretch up the back. I want to relax where we're stretching. On the other side, get your stability by starting with your feet apart and the hamstring standing, bring the heel up towards the butt and if you want a little further you can take the knee behind you, aim to have the knees together and stretch through the quadricep. And on the other side, pull the heel up towards the bottom, knee down towards the floor and stretch that quadricep. Take a deep squat and wiggle your hips. Hands on the knees, give a little easy wiggle like you're wagging your tail. And make a few circles. And you can do that standing up as well. Wiggle about and make a few circles through your hips. So we're working all those butt muscles to get them to relax after the workout. That's just a quick and easy workout to feel the burn in the butt and get your butts working and nice and toned and burning. So please take care while you work out, take care of your bodies, enjoy it and enjoy the fitness and the strength. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, write in the comments below and go across to my other channels. I have Instagram, Lynn Bridgeford. I have Facebook channels for the clinic, for the yoga and interact with me on all the channels and I would be happy to connect with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.